RNI. Um, I just want to start this off by saying I uh, hope everybody is well and safe at this really bad time. Uh, everybody, please stay safe and stay indoors and do everything that you need to do to keep your yourselves and your family safe. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, quite isolated here, which is good. And uh, I'm just uh, this is literally been the first time since I've been back in shit, since everything started off. Um, but uh, I just wanted to make a wee video today while I'm here before the car goes off to get uh, a few bits done. Um, so yeah, this is a beginning to another project. I know it's uh, been a while since I've updated the channel. Um, there's been a few uh, technical videos and stuff that uh, I've been doing, but uh, no real Obvious new projects have just simply been really, really busy. Uh, I haven't got work on any of my own cars at all, really. Uh, bits and pieces, maybe here and there. Um, I can't even get uh, working on my own daily car, never mind uh, anything else. But I bought this uh, just before the lockdown, about a week before. Um, so I'll run you through it. Basically, as you know, I'm now trying to just uh, save the rare cars. Um, I seem to keep picking them up. I wasn't planning to buy any cars this year, but um, I'd seen this for sale for a while, and I thought I would have a go at it. So, yes, it doesn't look very special, does it? But it's actually uh, a long wheel based version. It's it's the cars that uh, came out of the factory. They came out of the factory as normal, simplifies, but then uh, were sent to a company called McNeely's, and they were stretched by, I believe, 30 centimeters. So, um, if you ever see one, if you look at the back, the back door has got the long section set in. It's it's set in just uh, just after the B pillar. Um, so yeah, this is a 2003 uh, Rover 75, it's a diesel, it's a manual diesel, which is, uh, after finding it, it's quite rare in them. Um, I believe there's only uh, ever two manual diesels ever made uh, that were stretched. Uh, people go on about the limousine, but I believe the term limousine was limited to the cars that were produced by Rover and were the six door versions, uh, not the stretched, the stretched cars left the production line as normal cars and then were stretched afterwards. So the thing that really drew me, drew me to this car was the history. Uh, not only is it long wheel based in, in registration green, but uh, the history of it's quite good. I was able to find out through a few sources that this actual car was apparently uh, a director's car at the time in Rover. Uh, he had decided that he want he wanted one. So he, this this car was uh, Lion. It seems to be all the sort of higher spec cars were um, were stretched. So this car already had a few options uh, on it. Uh, he took over the car. Uh, it was originally obviously a Mark 1 uh, car and he put it back into the production line and convert it to a Mark II rear end and had the premium front bumper. Uh, I'll, put, I'll try and put up some pictures here to show you what, what it used to be like. Um, uh, I believe he had the car for, I'm not 100% sure, but eight, 8 to 10 years he had the car and then it was sold on and the premium bumper then was removed at one stage and this Mark 1 bumper was fitted. So but this is how it stands at the minute. It's got it's still got the Mark 2 rear end, so it's got the Mark 2 rear bumper and the rear plinth. Um, the car has uh, xenons, it has traction control, cruise control, electrics all around, uh, it has the harmony kit which at the minute is not working due to uh, some of the modules being damaged. Um, 
So yeah, this is a basic stage one. The problem with, I had the car on the ramp this morning and basically the main issues are rust. Uh, both cells are not in great condition, especially at the, the sections that's been uh, stretched. Uh, needs some mechanical work around the front end, needs a couple of uh, needs front arm chains, um, there's a damper on its way out and uh, then the rear end Basically, the usual, uh, quite the, the full subframe is quite corroded. Upper arms, a few bits missing, and um, I just it probably uh, needs a couple of dampers as well. They're, they're, they've been leaking quite badly, but um, overall, the car's not in bad shape. It needs a good clean inside, um, and it needs a few other tidying bits inside. But I'm not again, I'm not too worried about that. That's all standard rover stuff so again nothing that is just to this car and um, uh, i have ordered uh, two new cells for the car and uh, they're not obviously stretched because no one produces them but i have ordered two new cells and they're going to get patched in and i'm not confident enough well done myself so i won't be doing that but the car will be going away and getting that done and um, a couple paint work of stuff needs to tidy it up so that is the plan. So the, 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 the thing going forward is I'm going to convert the car back to a Mark 1. By the way, thanks everybody for their, their voting on Facebook. Uh, so the rear end will be changed back to Mark 1. Um, I will get this, this front bumper isn't quite the right color, so it'll be painted at the same time. Cells will be repaired. I will be adding hopefully a few more extras to the car. So I'm hoping to add a rear blind possibly a would be still heater um, give the thing a bit of a tidy up so that's about it I've uh, obviously the change the alloys I don't like those these are aftermarket alloys I'll be changed back to uh, probably a mark one set and not 100% sure what to go with yet but um, I have a few choices outside of sets and I can get a set for me too so that's about it I hope you keep tuned. The, the, it'll be an interesting, an interesting project. Um, uh, 2020, I believe. Um, I hope that I can get some more things finished, or uh, I have some long-term customer projects that I will get hopefully get them away, and a few other bits and pieces that I need to tidy up and sell. Um, I have at the minute. I believe 13 cars, so I need to I need to shorten that that list and uh, unfortunately get rid of some of them. Um, I would love to keep them all, but it's become it's become quite difficult to, to store the cars and keep them half decent. And uh, that's another something else I'm looking into uh, some kind of storage or uh, building own storage. So please keep posted. You watch the channel if you've got any comments please uh, put them on and i'll try and answer them when i can so stay tuned thanks